Hi. Hello, Marcy and Jack at Gelt Financial. Uh, we are going to talk today about blanket, blanket loans. loans. Yes. Blanket loans. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marcy, why don't you lead the way? Well, I just thought it was like we should bring this up again because there's a lot of confusion on blanket loans, and I just wanted to break it down for everyone. Is that just with me or with everyone? No, it's just with a lot everyone? of people I've talked to like the past couple of weeks about blanket loans. Um, it's confusing. It is confusing. So, for example, if you're going to buy a property, and I'm just going to use round numbers, it's 200000 and you own another property that is 500000 free and clear. So we can say to you, okay, we'll take the two, <laughs> the two properties and add them together, which would be you know 700000 and we would offer you 65% of that. So then that basically is 100% financing on the purchase because we're taking equity from the other property that you own free and clear. But we're gonna put a loan on both properties. So that's where the blanket comes into play. It's covering both properties, but we're taking equity out of the property that you own free and clear and you're using it to purchase another. Okay, but then there's also another way of looking at a blanket loan that, um, Let's say you have three commercial properties and you want to refinance all of them and some of them you have more equity in than other and you want to get some cash out. So you're going to take the three properties, again we're going to add them all together and give you 65% but we're going to put a lien on all of them. And you also, we can also put a lien in second position on something like that with the three properties. One, we could be in first position, and the other two, we could be in second if there's enough equity in the deal for us to still get our 65% loan to value. So that's my quick summary of blanket loans. So Marcy, another way of mm -hmm. saying it, just uh, it is- Like another example? Well, mm -hmm. you did get a great example, cross-collateralization. Okay. Some people say cross-collateralization, and cross-collateralization is really the same thing as blanket. Yes. That's so, right. so we're taking more than one property, right? Right. Yeah, and then we've even done deals where we've done that, and um, a borrower will say to us, "But what if I sell one of the properties?" Well, we can. What work, if they sell one of the properties? Well, what we happens? Can, we can work into the deal that we'll do a takedown. A release price. Yes, a release price. So Marcy we're thinks very, of everything. we're very negotiable, <laughs> you know. And we try to meet the needs of the borrower, and that's I think it. That's it. We Blankets. try to meet. Blanket loans. I think yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people have equity in their properties, and mm -hmm. by using a blanket loan or cross collateralization loan, we can they can use their equity instead of cash right. to buy something else. And it works out. Tap into their equity. A lot of companies mm -hmm. don't do that, but we do it at Gelt Financial. All right. Well. Do we leave anything off? No, that's it. So I think we left something off. Like our YouTube channel. <laughs> like our YouTube channel. Give us a call. Like our YouTube, give us a call, 561-221-0900, extension 103, mm -hmm. leave your questions, comments, and have a great day.